Welcome back, friends. My name is Eric. This is Metal 7 Gaming. Shorty's down here under the desk where he's not supposed to be. And we are playing Battletech and we're on the countdown. We've got eight days left. And uh, I've already recorded this video mostly. I did everything. We ran our mission. We were stepping into the evac circle and we lost the power. And so this is where the save reverted to, I guess. Um, so, yeah, we got to do it again. I don't remember what I talked to ahead of time. Um, maybe you do. I certainly don't. <laughs> you haven't seen it. You don't know either. So we're just going to jump in and do our next mission, I guess, because I don't remember what we were supposed to do. Um, it's just leave a mark here. It's destroy base, and it's a pretty serious long-term one. 436, whatever. It's a, it's a big mission. We're going to jump with the mechs we have. Um, it's automatically saved everything the way we were there. It saved as pre-jump, whatever. Um, this was the save, so we'll go ahead and jump in and do this mission a second time. Um, we crushed it last time. We did okay. We took more head hits in the Cyclops. We'll see if we take them again. Yeah, after losing Ninja last time, then Rover got hit in the head this time. It would have been injured, so who knows? Maybe it's for the best. Yeah, there's nothing like uh, cutting power for an entire city for 10 minutes just so you can save Scum and Iron Man save. <laughs> the most important thing was I had a uh, a 3D printer going, doing a big version of Millennium Falcon. It's going to be about 8 by 12 inches, I guess. Pretty, I mean, about yay wide. It's going to be a pretty decent size. Um, and it's about 14 hours into a 32-hour print. And luckily, the 3D printer recovered from the power outage because I was I was worried there. Uh, minor Capellan base, remind them Federated Sons is aware, should not become complacent, destroying a handful of structures. Um, if you blow up everything else, there's a bonus. Power? Audio? Um, maybe. There we go. But it doesn't look like my desktop is seeing it. Hold on, let me let me verify what's going on over here. Stop grabbing control of it. There we go. What is this supposed to be? Properties. Default. Um. Grab that. What does that do for? It? There we go. Now I'm beginning to see game audio. Go here. What's the volume? At? Keep everybody in the trees there. Although my sound bar seems to have gotten a little bit quieter after that. All right, there's a gun here. On these little deals, we know there's guns. There's one there, and I think the others are down on the ground, like there. And I'm, maybe that's the other one. So staying up might be a good idea. We could do that. Uh, if I stay here, we've got a cat. Oh, interesting. The mechs are different this playthrough. So um, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. So see, last time we had a we had a Highlander, uh, a Battlemaster, there were just three. I don't remember what the third one was. I don't remember what this one was. Um, do I shoot him or do I? Yeah, we we'll just kill the, this guy. This guy's dangerous enough as it is. We'll go there. We'll try to take off some guns. Um, we are all over the place. We're really missing Ninja and his, like, just deadly aim. Pop down to here. Get some LRMs. Not quite close enough for the AC-20. Okay. This is our breach. Um, kind of the same thing here. We'll get the AC-10, and that's probably about it. Ah, oh, there we go. At least we got into that structure. That's good. I would like to step up here 
And we can't do a called shot, but maybe we can get enough missiles in on that to take out half his LRMs. Yes, we did. Wait, did he not lose that? How did he not lose an arm? Oh, I'm confused. That's a bug. He kept his arm without the torso. Oh, that's weird. Especially on a catapult. I mean, on anything, but... And all the missiles worked. How did that happen? Huh. Okay. I guess. And yeah, that'll get his eyes on to the turret. Yeah, he, I guess he just gets to keep it. Interesting. And meanwhile, we keep eating the missiles. All right, well, you know, I guess. That get us close enough? What if I jump? Can I... That get me there? There we, there we go. And we see an unknown mech there, but that's okay, because we're just going to light this guy up. Center torso destroyed. That's right. Now we're going to try to take out this turret, because it is going to be nasty. Uh, yeah. Not as nasty as last time. Last time it was two PPCs... I don't remember. There we go. It's gone, though, regardless. You're out of there. So last time I came down to fight, I think this time we'll stay up. Maybe. Three PPCs tends to make you want to close distance really fast, even if he did just shoot with one of them. Um, I get to a point where I can actually shoot him? Yes. All right, we're coming down a little bit. Um, take off two medium lasers. Get a little bit of shot on him. Heat's not too bad. That'll get us vision on whoever that guy is. And I'm going to go ahead and vigilance. We're right on the edge of heat here, so we'll take off this one. Head hit. Awesomes are not always the sturdiest. I didn't look to see what type of armor he had on. That can get us into... No, I wanted to see if we could actually shoot him. I hate when it just... It's been weird. There's a Zeus there. Um, up to 1,200 armor. 920. Okay, well, maybe he was. That can unstabilize him. Nope. We're like a point under. That's okay. That's okay. Heat sink destroyed. That's going to be bad for somebody with three PPCs. I don't think he lives too much longer anyway, but you never know. There we go. That was good. We needed the damage reduction from all that. Maybe it was a Zeus instead. Maybe it was a Highlander and a Zeus. I don't remember. I don't remember what this one was at all. Quick draw, maybe? Who knows? Okay, I'm not sure how an enemy structure was damaged. We didn't shoot one. Maybe whatever was shooting at us had a stray shot. Step, step up here. We get all of them in this time. Not quite, but we can do a called shot. Center torso. How much does he have left? Should have just enough if they all hit, and they didn't. Um. That's too much.
I'm going to put these there. No, I'll leave them on A. B? I guess we'll, we'll do the most we can to the, make sure the awesome goes off. We pretty much needed everything anyway. Start on the, on the Zeus there, an elite sentinel. My biggest issue is what over there is shooting us. There we go. That's what we wanted to do last time. There we go. Get a little bit more insta- Ah, we got him on steady. We're gonna knock him down here with the stalker. I'm gonna walk the stalker a little bit farther this way. Our evac points can be down there. Shorty, out. That's what you're gonna do. You gotta get out. Um, he's knocked down, missing some heat sinks, and 62 health left. He's going to stand up here, but he's not going to be happy. I will say this is going a little bit better than it did last time. We're a little bit, a little bit quicker, a little bit more precise with it. I'm worried about those turrets, though. We need to kill him so we get they lose their vision. And then we'll go get... Not quite. Almost, though. There we go. Zeus down. And then we wiped out every... Th oh, LRM explosions took out the rest. Oh, okay. So that should get us out of vision. So now we just need to get to a point where we can see some buildings to blow up. Uh, if we go here, we can see a couple. Go there. Why can I not shoot buildings? I hate it when it decides, oh, well, you're out of that, so you can't shoot the stuff you need to shoot anymore. Why can I not shoot buildings? That's my whole goal in life here, is to shoot these buildings. And yet, I can't. Because it's decided that I am out of combat and there's somebody else there, so I can't shoot buildings. Can I shoot a building now? I'm going to go to here. I don't see why it matters. I guess they're worried if they give you the option at all. Uh, that must have been the one that got clipped by that. He should only have a very little left. So he's got 15, maybe we'll put an LRM 10 on him. Ah, we'll just, we'll just finish it. We'll use the stalker to finish that one. And There we go. Probably a waste of missiles there. A little bit. Extra 100 damage before it stopped counting. All right, we just need one more. There's a turret there. Let's run across here. Enough. There we go. Everybody's dead. We can make a run for it. We do have the one turret there that we will probably shoot on our way across. Come on, there's a... Oh, I guess there's not a dot there. 
We'll go that way. We'll hop up there. How about that? That'll work. Oh, race. There we go. Yeah, this is going a lot faster this time. I think we just ignore that turret. I don't see a reason to shoot it. Now see? Oh, I guess it's because that's on the map. I was going to say it's, it's actually making us brace. There we go. Run him up. Oh, yeah, that's amazing how often the stalker is the first one back to the uh, to the evac zone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Considering it's it's dirt slow. Um, you know what? No, I guess I won't. Now that uh, I can, I'm out of range. I say we could lob some missiles on it, but no need, no need. Oh, I gave him I gave him names. That's what I meant. That's probably what we talked about last time. So. Um, the Stalker's Puddle's Pity Party now. Um, the... Whiskey Six's Atlas is Jameson. The Cyclops is Eye of Sargon. And the Highlander is the Widowmaker. Not because it kills other people, but because like the Corsair in World War II, it kills pilots, its own pilots. So there's that. And um, just get you out of the way there. Doesn't matter, but. A shot at us? No. No, he does not. And there we go. That mission's done. And the victor we named Nike, but I think I'm going to change it to Apollo Nike. We'll go for we'll go for one of his titles there. Mission successful. Leave a mark. Destroy the base. Yay. They're in max zero. They're max positive. We made a little bit of money. We're going to get a little bit of salvage. Is it going to be useful salvage? Not really, but we'll take it all anyway. Just in the off chance. We can sell it. We've got eight days left. We didn't take any... I don't think we took any headshots this time. So I think all our pilots came out fine. The mechs came out fine. We did the mission about 10 minutes faster than last time. We have some XP to dump on some pilots. Overs up to eights. Kind of work our way down there for Stormcloud. Command Center, next contract. Oh, it gave us another one. Interesting. We should have only had. No, I guess that's right. I guess that's right. We did one. We did the two. No, that's a new one. That's a new four star. We didn't have that before, right? Maybe we did. Maybe we had two four and a halfs and then the these. I don't remember anymore. But we may as well jump into this one. It's a battle in the desert. 992,000. Torian Concarda is conducting exercises. Yada, yada, yada. Let's blow them up. Um, Anyway, we can, yeah, look at that. We can get him to drop another level by doing it for less less salvage. Actually, let's do it for less. Mm, let's do it for less salvage. There we go. That'll drop that a whole nother level. Um, I think we just run with the pilots we have. Is four star, so we'll stick with the Widowmaker rather than the Victor. Although we do have the other Highlander as well, um, our catapult and our quick draw that we got last time. 
are also ready if we needed them. All right, we read this one before. They're conducting missions. They're not supposed to be there. Go kick their butt. Picked up fusion engine signatures and weapons fire. Like targets are in this area, move up, make contact, wipe them out. Guy yeah, Sargon up there. Really? That's your sprint? Jump, get us a little closer? Um, yes. I think, in fact, we're gonna go that direction with you. Um, we probably need to stay low with you because, I mean, you have one jump jet, but. There we go. Run down the canyon there. Oh, I had a really cool screenshot, too, of, um. Oh, come on. Took a really cool screenshot of our, uh, of our Cyclops that I think we're going to lose. The sun's not out. That's not the best place for it. Whoops. I guess we'll continue. We'll try to get one later. Go there. There we go. We got contact. At least three. One, two, three. Go. Uh, it's kind of a big open area for us. I mean, we could kind of run... Your map edge over here somewhere? Not for a long ways. Uh, I was thinking we might try to get into those trees. This map is here. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll run... I think initially I'm just going to go here. And we can see the quick draw. Let's see what this guy is. Another quick draw. Okay. And he walked forward anyway. Didn't really hit with much. But it was a head hit, so... Three out of four missions that I... Three out of the last four missions, including the one that had the power outage at the end, the Cyclops has taken a head hit. Up down. Put an AC-10 on him. Trees in the hill are killer. Okay, we've already got some hits on him. Other guy comes out, and the fourth guy's up there. Right up against the edge of the map. So Rover is most likely out for the rest of our playthrough. Oh, that had to hurt. Seventy, and the other one's a heavy two. Dragon. Okay. Another head hit on Rover. She's definitely out for the rest of the playthrough. All right, and here's the reinforcements. And eventually, um, the game is locked up. Keyboard has lost power. Uno momento.
Yep, wireless keyboard, lost power. Okay, so I'm kind of... Hmm. I don't like to get some, just some trees, but there's really not a whole lot of movement I can do that's going to leave me... I guess this will work. Let's hop back here into these trees. We'll do a quick vigilance, because everybody seems to be shooting at me, and then we'll fire. Medium laser crit. All right. Quick draw. That's quick draws. What? Did the other guy move? How did we lose... I don't know how we lost vision there. Well, that's fine. We'll jump Widowmaker up. Dragon, quick draw, quick draw. Oh, I guess it was that, that same guy. Okay, that's fine. Let's, um, what's he got left there? 12 and 100. Let's just go center torso on him and see if we can finish him off. Oh, not multi-strike, sorry. Um... We get him? We got him. There we go. Get some... Uh, I assume... Yeah, it's just LRMs either way, so we'll go ahead and take care of the quick draw first. Especially since he wants to come in close. We can go in close with him. Um, yeah, we just fire. We don't have too many options, but we'll give him everything. There we go. Not much stability damage, oddly enough. Victor? Can't see, and the scroll in didn't let me look. Still can't look. Victor's not 70, though. Victor's 80? Grasshopper? Grasshopper. There we go. All right. Come up here, I saw gone. What do you got left? 135. All right, we're gonna precision strike right center torso and see if we can finish you off. Not quite, not quite. We needed all of them to go center and we didn't quite get there. That's fine. If it was ninja, it would have happened. I'm going to multi-target, because I don't think we need quite everything. I'm going to go ahead and put the AC-10 over to there. Needed almost everything. I mean, it took down to next to the last missile there. We'll get the AC-10, a little bit of quick damage on center torso on the dragon. A little bit of damage there. It's fine. Okay, I don't know why it decided to flip over there, but it did. Since we've got AC-20 range, we're going to try to go center torso. And we missed with the 85 percenter. So, not enough. Still not enough. But he's having a bad day. Okay. I Sargon's not having a great day either. Rover's taking, getting shot up quite a bit. Knew there was a reason I wanted to not go that way. <laughs> All right, not a full-on car LRM carrier, probably.
I'm going to hop behind. And we'll shoot him in the arm because he's almost dead in the center torso. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, shoot him in the arm. Good job. Stay in the trees. Split target here. Do we get some shots center torso? He goes down. There we go. Couple shots on the grasshopper. Comes in for the punch? No, just close in barrage. Okay. We're gonna step behind him and put an AC-20 in his back then. Um, see which one is back arc? That counts as back arc. There we go. Grasshopper down. That should cut visibility for the vehicles for a moment. That worked out okay. Uh, little print screen action there. Brace. Interesting that a second ago we were all zoomed in and now it wants to zoom out. I mean, we were we were zoomed in hard on him and now it's like now it's what is it circling around? Is it circling around the dead mech? There we go. Except who's supposed to be going right now? Why did it switch like that? All right, well, we're gonna walk up here a little bit. We can get in the trees here in a second, and we're going to go ahead and sensor lock the big boy. Demolisher, okay. And we'll go ahead and put an AC-10 on him. A little bit of damage on him. And then I think we're going to precision strike him there. Minus the lasers. Good. <laughs> we didn't need all of it, but I wasn't sure. I say if it missed, who knows? Okay. Bulldog. Don't know. Okay. Easy enough. Let's figure out who we're going. Um, Ninety-five, three ninety, ninety-five, three sixty. I guess we'll go for the slightly less armor. Man, he flipped that up. There we go. Track comes down. PPC has got a Shrek back there. Oh, should have turned the rest of the weapons on. Oh, well. At this point, I kind of just hope they shoot here, since that's where the head injury already is. Do that. Give it a little bit of heat.
Run the Widowmaker up. Maybe we can get something other than just the AC-10 on his next shot. We'll just run from tree to tree. Hang out, lose some heat. Enjoy the desert sun. And then get shot with a Shrek. I thought for sure we got a headshot, but I think it went torso. I was worried there for a minute. I was like, oh, that's not good. Let's try turning on the guns this time. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Everything's kind of done. All right. Two reasonably quick-ish missions for their difficulty level. Mission complete, all success, we made some money. Widowmaker killed everything that time. Two injuries on Rover, so we can, we can say goodbye to Rover for a little while. We're gonna pick up a dragon. Good medium plus plus laser. We're gonna be selling all these here in a few days. Just to make money. Equipment doesn't help us right now. Beefy machine, it can take a serious beating, but tends to be light on weaponry. Moves fast. Yeah, yeah, I do like it. It's suited for melee attacks. Um, so we're all good there. We've got one more spot there for a mech, then we have to start putting stuff back in storage. Um, Pilot-wise, rover's as good as rover's apparently going to get. Um, which is how good? Not quite good enough. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's straight eights. It's not bad. Um, so we have, I guess, Moose Jaws next up. Um, missing a targeting. Well, we're going to lose our targeting. No, we still got pr Predator. Maybe Predator's next up, right? Because we need somebody with um, Sensor Lock. So it looks like this is our group for next. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but I think that's it for this episode. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We got, what, three missions left? Something like that. Um, as we count down towards the end, we've got eight days left. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.